Interesting cave paintings discovered in Madagascar, David Burney was part of the team that discovered and described these ancient depictions. These are the first truly pictorial works of art seen on the island, depicting nature with human and animal-like figures. Until recently, only a few sites containing simple symbols had been unearthed as rock art in Madagascar. The dramatic discoveries contained several surprises, including clues to some remarkable cultural connections. First, at some points the scenes depicted are quite directly linked to Egyptian religious motifs from the Ptolemaic period, which spanned 300 to 30 BC. Secondly, other inferences from the symbols and inscriptions on the walls indicate connections with the Ethiopian and Afro-Arab worlds. Finally, widespread symbolism and motifs evoke a 2,000-year-old cave art style in Borneo, another area full of surprises. At least three animals thought to be extinct for centuries may have been depicted in Madagascar, a giant sloth, lemur, elephant birds, and a giant tortoise. It has long been believed, and evidence confirms, that the people, language and culture of Madagascar are based on distant ancient connections with Borneo, an island in Southeast Asia, and strong influences from Africa in the east of the continent. However, who the first Malagasy people were, when they arrived, and what they did afterward are controversial issues. Although the findings are speculative, any information that can be gleaned from the Andrea Mallow cave evidence is of great importance to the reconstruction of the early history of Madagascar. The team spent several days recording the footage, surveying and mapping the entire cave, surveying relevant archaeological sites, and interviewing local villagers about the art but it took them several years to research relevant literature and museum archives to confirm the uniqueness and importance of their findings. Researchers made digital copies and hand drawings of 72 objects from cave art. These were drawn with black pigment and contained 16 animals, 6 human forms, 2 human-animal hybrid forms, 2 geometric patterns, 16 examples of an M-shaped symbol and many other patterns and indeterminate forms. Eight key images had Egyptian connections. Among them is the falcon Horus, bird, headed god Thoth. There are two human-animal figures that resemble Mott, the ostrich goddess, and Anubis, an ancient Egyptian god often depicted as a man with a dog head. The ubiquitous and mysterious M figures also required explanation. After researching many related alphabets, Researchers suggest a perfect match with just one, the letter hot, pronounced ha in the ancient Ethiopian Amharic alphabet, but surprisingly, the symbol has also been identified in cave art in Borneo thought to be around 2,000 years old, and has not been found in any other cave or rock art in the Indo-Pacific region. The word ha was a term for breath of life in some Austronesian languages, a diverse language family that stretches from Malagasy in the west to distant Hawaii and Rapa Nui in the Pacific. All these possible relationships remind researchers that the Malagasy people, language and culture are syncretic within themselves, blending African and Asian influences, creating a unique Malagasy people, richly detailed and diverse. The art is also notable for what it does not show. No Christian, Muslim or Hindu symbolism is depicted, nor are there any relatively modern motifs such as the Latin alphabet, cars, planes, or flags. Madagascar doesn't even have the ubiquitous zebu cattle. The most culturally significant symbol of the last thousand years or more, it is difficult to know exactly when these drawings were made. Direct dating of cave art is very difficult. Because the black pigment is made of dark and organic minerals, there is only a minor component of charcoal that can be used for radiocarbon dating. 